want to say hi to everybody real quick? Hi, Mom. You're hi, Mom. deceased, but I think you're in the spirit world someplace. So. Some are floating around out there like, like a Beetlejuice. It's motionless. So here we are, Lois and I, Nokomis, Minnesota. What do you think about uh, characters like Bob the Science Guy and, you know, Simon Dan and all these characters online? Well, the one I'm familiar with is Bob because we were watching the live stream today. And I don't know, I wouldn't want him to live in my house with me because he's so, he's so contentious, he's mm -hmm. so argumentative, mm -hmm. you know. I think if you asked him to take the trash out, he'd say, what? Trash? What's trash? What do you want <laughs> trash for? You like trash, don't you? you don't like trash. <laughs> put an equation to it, just as long as he can put maths to it, then they're okay. Yeah. As long as there's some way that you can give him the dimensions of the trash can. <laughs> yeah. And weigh it and for how him? many yards away? How many it? yards? How much it weighs? <laughs> yeah. And it'll be Wikipedia. It'll be on Wikipedia. Wikipedia will be able to confirm it for him. But trash? you'll never. You call this trash? You call... How do you know it's trash? <laughs> Can you prove it? Let's Google it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think that you know characters like that. You'll never see them come to the lake. You know they'll never put themselves out face to face on camera. They just stick to online stuff. I think they literally are contracted to do that. Like, I really think that they're only contracted to talk to people when live streams are going on. Maybe so. Because you really never see these people make comments on videos. Yeah. Or any other, like, they never. these people never partake in anything other than a live stream. So I think, like, that there's some accountability and, like, contract that they're obligated to. You know, maybe through YouTube or... Yeah, probably. Some. They probably have a limited role. Yeah. And that, But there were those three youngsters last night, I mean, the other night, who were, who were really, really argumentative. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, even just the guy that we were, you know, talking to that I was engaging with on the video, he was just very, just stubborn and said, well, science has figured it out. Well, how have they figured it out? What, what examples can you give me? Well, I don't have to because they figured it out. <laughs> but then he couldn't admit that he's in a faith-based, you know, thought life of just, they did it for me and then I can just carry on. And I really think like Flat Earth is just starting, it, it's a movement to hold people accountable to their own actions instead of just saying, well, but, but, but I just believe these people. Mm -hmm. I mean, naivety is no respecter of person. And I think that a, a lot of people are just falling into that trap of just intentionally being naive and gullible and ignorant mm -hmm. and they think that they'll never be held accountable to that. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to do any thinking. They want to ask a lot of questions, but they don't want to think at all. Yeah, or they want us to provide them with the answers mm -hmm. so that then they can weigh it against their own personal worldview, which they were taught in school, and then that gives them a right to call us names because it doesn't go along with the uh, mainstream narrative. Another thing that gets me is, you know, you, you show them and you tell them that there's no curvature and they're like, okay, what else you got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you like math, right? Yeah, I love math. Okay, well, here's the math. <laughs> just to, you know, just for we can, so we can clarify, eight inches per mile squared and within a good couple hundred miles, that's accurate. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't care about it. They don't care about it. <laughs> no, they don't like math then. All of a sudden they just, they don't they appreciate it. They loved math a minute ago, but as soon as they see the curvature calculation, they don't like math. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> then they think they have to get high enough to see the ball earth, right? Yeah. They think that, you know, then by them doing this, that will make it real. But they know they can't do it. Yeah. And then they know that I haven't done it. So then they think that somehow... By them not doing it, it's okay, but then because I didn't do it or you didn't do it, we're somehow, like, incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, well, what would it take you to believe in the ball of Earth? Would you have to go to outer space? And it's like, well, what would it take for you to believe in the ball of Earth? Right? 
because you already believe it, but you haven't seen it from this perspective. But so, how do you know it's like that? Well, that's these are photos. I've never, I've never met a ball earther who cared about curvature. No, they just don't care. They think they can have a round ball with no curve. Yeah, they think that this can be yeah. without curvature drop. You know, <laughs> it's just too big, Lois. Yeah. It's just too big. So yeah, today is. 447 Friday, July 26, at least that's what they tell us. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's about, what, 28, 27 degrees Celsius. Probably about 85 degrees Fahrenheit for all you laymen. Let's out there. show them the lake, okay? Yeah. I'll just turn it around here. There she is. A bit white cap today because it is quite brisk. But. Won't detour Minnesotans from coming out to the lake because it's not snowing. So that's all that matters. So we'll hang out here for the duration as the sun travels further and further away from us towards the horizon as it converges with the ground and the sky. So yeah, anything else you want to add? We have this great meme book. Lois was complimenting it earlier. Thank you, David Weiss, for putting it together. Got that put together probably about a month ago. So we have all of our toys and our gadgets here. Our glob that everybody takes with them to go camping because we need a model for Flat Earth, I guess. And Globbers have their model, which they obviously take camping with them. So. Oh, that's not very respectful of the common globbers. <laughs> Speaking of respectful, the camera wasn't on when we showed up, <laughs> and uh, this guy verbally accosted me by saying, there's so many problems in the world and this is what you spend your time doing, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and we kind of got into this tongue match with each other as he's walking that, that direction over there, over yonder, and I said, well, what is it that you're doing to save the planet? And he said, I'm going sailing. <laughs> That's what he's going to do today, is he's going sailing. So he he tells us that this is what we have. We have nothing better to do, all the problems in the world, and we're talking about this, but he's going sailing today. So This is, this is my favorite picture. It's Apollo 11. It's just... It's coat hangers and duct tape and tin foil. There's supposed to be an RC car in that too. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. It's just so. unbelievable. Little dune buggy. Little dune buggy. Hi. How are you? Doing wonderful, thanks. Have a nice day. <laughs> so we'll flip the camera around. We'll wait for some curious interested people. Hopefully they're open-minded. And we'll just see what happens. Thanks everybody. Bye mom. Politics? Are you kidding me? No, we're not doing politics, bud. If you believe in politics, <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Well, I don't think he gets it. I don't think he gets it. No, I'm not personally gets it. But you know. Well we like to come to the lake because then we have we have a ready made prop here. It shows how water lies flat and low. Yeah? Where's where's the prop? Right behind The big body of water there? Yeah. So what we're thinking is that if the earth is what, um 
something like 70, 80 percent water, yeah. you know, the oceans. Yeah. And since water lies flat, then it's impossible that it's a round ball. But, I mean, if, I've always asked, I always want to ask this, like, I'm not too, con I do, I'm not too confrontational about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like, I do debate, but like, that's just stuff that we have to talk about. <laughs> So we talk about like the pharmaceutical industries and all this stuff, but like, if that's so, how come we can't? So like, let's say like the Burj Khalifa, you know, like the biggest building in the world. How come we can't see it then from where we're sitting? Because if it was all flat, why? What's stopping us from seeing that far? Is what I'm trying to say. You know, well, you know, that's just it's just a really it's just a question. I'm just hmm. I don't know. It's, it's a fascinating question to me because I just don't think I can see forever. Yeah, but I mean, like, but why not? Like, what's the, what's stopping, you know? Well, an interesting thing that happens with vision is that there's a line of convergence where the earth meets the, the sky. Yeah. And so we don't see past that. We maybe see, um, we're looking out on the ocean, I think we see maybe three or six miles, something like that. And, I mean, our, our vision just doesn't go that far. Mm -hmm. That's I'm an I'm an, I'm oh. a college art student. I, well, I do APR. That's why I'm here. I do a lot of sketches at the lake oh. and stuff. So like, I don't know, everything like this. I just like talking to people, you know. Because one big thing I like personally is the idea that anybody can have any opinion, no matter who they are, you know, anything like that. It's so like that guy come, you know, how he was yelling at you guys for politics at the lake or whatever he was trying to say. Yeah. That's dumb. Because even though personally, like. Personally, I you know I may believe the Earth is round, but I still can sit and talk with you guys about you know you guys' viewpoint. It's interesting. Like, so like round like this? This is round. Well, you know what I mean. No, I don't. Like a globe. Oh, okay, a ball. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Because if you were to Amazon round tables, yeah. how many tables do you think would be shaped like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you think like proper vernacular is is a good place to start? Yeah. So that then you have a better understanding of shapes and geometry, geometric shapes and stuff? It's just... Because you're an art student, right? Yeah. Okay, I so would, do you call this round, or I mean, do you call this a sphere? You call it a sphere, but yeah, okay. I get what you're saying. No, I, I like, you guys definitely have a lot of good points, and I'm not gonna, you know... Yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to, you know, one-up you or anything, but I'm, I'm just saying, like... Yeah. How like how is it that you have come to this formulation in your mind? Have told, yeah, I know people have told me, and it's you know it's a passed down, and so they think tradition, it's, tradition, stuff can be fake. Okay. I know. Yeah. yeah. So like a religion. And I'm I'm not saying like the one thing I always like to say in debate or with anything, it's I don't know anything about the world. I only know what I can see, and I'm not gonna say the Earth is a hundred percent a globe, but I'm also not gonna say it's a hundred percent flat. It's a hundred percent this because I don't know. No one, you know, that's my viewpoint on everything. I don't know, but hear everybody's point of view. And, so yeah, that's kind of where. Is there an objective truth? There is no objective truth. That's true. Yeah. There isn't. No, I don't. Well, I mean, I don't know. I like. To so where do you get your morals from? My morals? Yeah. yeah. I'm young, dude. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know where you get your morals from? I mean, not my family. No, they kind of. No, you. Out. I don't. I'm not talking about your family because they're not here, right? Yeah. I'm talking about you personally, like life experiences. Okay. I've seen a lot. I've you know, I've been to Syria, I've been to Dubai, Germany, Europe, Asia. I've seen a lot of different cultures around the world, and you see some of the really messed up things too. But it's you know, you you live and you learn is kind of how I go through life. You yeah. See something and you gotta. So maybe it is fine. Maybe it's round. I don't know. I'm not really gonna. You know, right. But what whether like like let's say that there is objective truth that we can all agree upon, right? Yeah. And one of those things could be theft. Yeah. Right? Do you yeah. think like innately as human beings theft we have right. a conscience uh, that would say like we shouldn't take something that's not ours? Yeah. And that we haven't paid for, right? Yeah. Yeah. That would probably be for a person who's probably 13 or 14 years old or older, they innately yeah. have that transition point, yeah. right? Yeah. And so do you think that water laying level and flat when contained is another objective truth that we can all agree upon? 
Yeah, I get what you guys. I totally get it. Yeah. Okay. Do you like maths? Math? Maths? Yeah. Math. Math. Yeah, like numbers and stuff. No, I'm not, I'm not too good of a mathematician. Okay, I'm not. E I wasn't either until I found out like the circumference and the diameter of the Earth. And then what happens is to have this right, you have to have curvature drop. Yeah. Right. And so if Google was to tell us that they have measured the Earth, then we could put that into an algorithm and find out what the spherical trigonometry of a sphere with a radius of three thousand nine hundred and fifty-nine miles is. And then we would know what the curvature drop is. So over a body of water, what we're doing with the technology that we have, like super high zoom lenses, like a P900 or a P1000, we're able to bring objects back into focus when they should have disappeared under the curvature. And that's really interesting. You know, like all that type of stuff. Yeah, it's interesting. You guys definitely have a lot of good points for your guys' side. And as, like, at the debate student, I totally, you know, it's totally, you guys have a lot of good points, a lot of good contentions for all of your arguments, and that's... Us too, or like, what do you the, say, the, you guys? The flat Earth community. Like, okay. I've watched a few videos, that type of thing, and there's lots of good, you know, contentions that get brought up, and it's, you know, it's pretty interesting. How much do you want to debate it? Debate it? Do you debate at school? Yeah, I'm on, I do the STMA debate team, right? Like, you know, just try to do the flat Earth position. The, the thing, the thing with the beta is they pick the topic for us and we do it. However, there is free, we do, there is like some freestyle like side events, that type of thing. So, if there ever is an opportunity, the harder argument is always the funnest. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. The hardest argument would be proving the ball Earth. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to, yeah. No one. I can't prove it. I know that. I don't think it's really possible for anybody to prove anything like that. Unless we're all up in space at one point. <laughs> but what if outer space isn't real? That is true. You know. I mean, it could all be, it could all just be, um, there's lots of things, but like, have you ever heard like the simulation theory, stuff like that? Sure, yeah, yeah, like Minecraft and, you know, No Man's Sky type stuff. Like, no, it's all, that, nothing is real till you look there, nothing is, you know, that yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah, I would, I would lay, I would lean on the side of saying, the question would be, does it, if a tree falls in the woods, holy buckets, it's a twister, Annie M. Thank you. It's a twister. I would, so there's this question about, amongst, you know, you know, beginner philosophy, right? Yeah. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound, right? Yeah. I would say no, because there's not a conscious observer there to, to listen to it. Yeah. It's, no, I like it. I like the idea of just going out and talking about what you guys want to, and I, you know. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you have a passion for that you like to talk to people about? I mean, kind of, yeah, some stuff. Like, my artwork a lot, I, you know, I focus on that a lot. Um, long boards, just petty stuff like that. I mean, okay, anything not so, you know, small, I mean, small, like, like real actual things, I like, like we really got to put this to bed as human beings. Oh. I mean, when it comes to like political turmoil, I, you know, between the two political sides, that's something that I see not helping anybody because the funny, my mom's Democratic and my my dad's Republican, so mm. I've always lived in that household where it's you know interesting. Yeah, so I kind of grew up on this in this kind of sense where I seen both sides, heard both arguments since I was a little kid. So it's kind of the political turmoil doesn't really help anyone. That's mm. probably one of the biggest things if I could talk to someone about. That. Yeah. So like the red blue fake paradigm in my opinion. I think that it's just created to divide people and it's not really real. Yeah. It's actually just a big giant soap opera where they actually already decided who's going to win in the beginning. Yeah. But then they have the soap opera going on CNN and Fox News where people actually believe in November they vote and they're going to actually change things. Yeah. Like there's that that psychology. Yeah. But if you really think about it, if they allowed us to vote and change they wouldn't allow us to vote and change things yeah. like that's just not what they would allow collective human beings who just go to video uh you know play video games and go to baseball games to actually do yeah. so. yeah. I, I had a bunch of buddies with me but they went the opposite way because they were trying to go back to their cars oh sure so i just kept walking and yeah, right on, man. yeah that's a good thing you stopped yeah i mean we've got a, a brochure take a look at this too you know if you're interested in perspective you know as an artist um, and this is another kind of commentary on our vision. 
-hmm. because you can look across and see the Chicago skyline across Lake Michigan. Even though it should be behind 2,400 feet of curvature, mm -hmm. because the, the Earth has to curve its, if it's a round ball. So it, that's interesting too. I mean, I don't know how that fits in with the whole line of convergence and the five or six miles that we're supposed to see. I, I haven't really integrated those different concepts, but it is interesting because you really should not see the Chicago skyline if it's a round ball. It would be impossible. I really like this. Like just the way you do it. <laughs> you know? out to the lake and you know what I have found is that on social media it's become quite an echo chamber they censor a lot of topics and they keep people kind of in a compartmentalized group where you know you really don't know who you're talking to nowadays it could be an AI bot for all you know you know it could be somebody just playing a game with you and trolling just to kind of create banter but you know they're just trying to waste your time like a vampire yeah so I figure coming out here, you know, talking to people face to face, at least that limits, you know, some of the agent type behavior yeah. and can bring new people to the conversation. So, so what's, a, what's this map of? Like, is it all... This is a, a flat earth map. Um, when did this come out? Something like 1870, 1892 or 1880 something? Yeah, because I mean, they, they say that. People believe that the Earth is a round ball for thousands of years, but it's not true. Since the Greeks, if I remember correctly. But you know, it was contentious even in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, this shows the North Pole in the center. Of course, we navigate by means of the North Pole, so that makes sense. Is then what would happen theoretically, like science, uh, you know? If you were to get here and you were to walk over this edge, what would, what would happen kind of thing? It would be really interesting, you know, but nobody's been able to do it. Yeah. Um, but, like, theoretically, what would happen? <clears throat> well, I would. it sounds like in your mind, no offense, I've just been doing this for a while, people just replace the ball earth with a disc floating in outer yeah, space. I don't, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. So what if outer space didn't exist... Anyways, and we just lived on a flat horizontal plane. Okay. Okay. And then there was a ceiling above us. True. And we couldn't go out of outer space. There was no, there was no height at which we could ever see the ball Earth from any perspective. Hey, I'm I'm agnostic. I'm not a same of, believer, yeah, but, same but you know it is interesting that the different religions do mention in the Bible. There's mention of the firmament, and that's supposed to be the what's above us. Yeah. I don't I don't really have a theory as to what's above us. Um, but and also in Islam the Quran says the same thing. It says that I think it says that Allah laid out the earth like a carpet. Mm -hmm. Flat. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. What about the sun and the moon? And what about like what are like how do those work? Are those as big as they say? Are they smaller spheres, not spheres? You know like just the whole, yeah. I think I think most flat earthers, um, you know, people have different theories, mm -hmm. but you know what we see actually are lights in the sky. You know, and so as far as the moon goes, uh, it, it a lot of flat flat earthers think that it produces its own light. Okay. You know, it's not a reflection of the sun, and I I believe it it produces its own light. 
Yeah, with that magnet there, that would be the sun, and all it does is just does a circuit around the North Pole. Okay. It just sort of, you know, goes around and then it, you know. So that could be a possibility. Like, it has a relationship with the North Pole. Okay. And maybe during the winter time, it gets repelled. So that's why we see the sun lower in the horizon during the winter time. And then in the summertime, it's almost directly above us, right? What about, how about this one? What about asteroids or like meteors that fall to Earth? Where do they come from? They could be pieces of the firmament. The, the, of the ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that one because it, it begs the question why doesn't the moon crash into the Earth? Yeah. yeah. You know, because it should if it follows the same gravity rules as asteroids. Have you ever seen an asteroid or a meteor come from the horizon upwards? I've never seen a meteor or an asteroid. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen video or anything like that where uh, something is coming from the horizon upwards. Mm -hmm. It's always something that comes downwards towards the Earth. Yeah. So that's something to think about. Yeah. You know, um, the sun is much, much closer and much, much smaller. And it's something to think about. You know, that it's not 93 million miles away, that we are literally contained in an enclosure. And if there is a creator, he's literally watching us right now. Yeah. So we will be held accountable that's to everything a, that we if, say and do. If the rest of the universe is non-existent, right? Mm -hmm. And if you, like you said, you're not religious, right? Mm -hmm. And if with the, not, the most common non-religious answer to creation is the Big Bang. So then what is the creation story for Flat Earth? Uh, besides, you know, like a religious creation story, like is there a Big Bang type of event, or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think different people think different things. I mean, I'm truly agnostic. I don't believe in a Big Bang. I think that's just as ridiculous as anything else I've ever heard. So I don't really know, you know, how things originated, just speaking of for myself. Yeah. But then you have um, flat earthers who believe in the Bible, you can speak to that, Josh. Yeah, the Genesis 1 talks about a literal six-day creation. Yeah, and if you were to, you know, look at the different ways of how things were created first, it's interesting how the, the order is different than what evolution would state. You know, so... You know, it's all... So, um, whether, the way I like to think about a lot of things, like with the simulation, right, like this, whether it's round or it's flat, it's never really going to change my life too much. It's something, you know, it's interesting to think about, but it's not, I don't know. Do you drive a car? Yeah. Okay. Did you think about driving a car when you were 12 years old? I mean, yeah. Like, sure. Did you think it was going to change your life? I mean, yeah. I <laughs> mean, when I was younger, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And I can see how, like, how you could probably like fantasize about stuff like that, and, like driving a car and whatnot, because that's tangible, right? But if you're, if we're here on, as human beings and we're taught something, and it doesn't end up to be true, that's wrong. Then that changes your entire way of thinking, because then you realize that your entire life, like the cover of that book says, your entire life could be a lie you know of how like where we're taught we live on a ball just randomly floating in outer space but if you're literally accountable to everything you say and do it really brings the human being to responsibility and just have an understanding of where do we come from like why am I here you Kids know always wanna, or we, we like to question everything answers are sure but what if you're being taught a lie yeah Right? I mean, did you grow up in a family that taught Santa Claus? Yeah. So you believe I mean, Santa? Kinda. So you believe Santa Claus? Or you knew friends maybe that had do? Yeah. Knew Santa Claus, right? Yeah, definitely. I can. Yeah. Like your Easter Bunny or Tooth Fairy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there is a there is you know as you become an adult, would you ever go into a room full of you know second graders and say Santa Claus isn't real? No. Why not? It's true. Yeah, but because it. it messes with their head they don't like but the why idea. it's true yeah i don't know i get what you're saying so if, if if they're if they're at that state and they say well 
no, I know that Santa Claus is real. How is not knowing Santa Claus going to change my life? Well, they don't realize that until they're 9, 10, 11 years old. Right? But if we were to come out here and we share flat earth, and we say, well, we can objectively see water lay level and flat. The higher that we get in altitude, the horizon continues to rise with us horizontally, and we never see curvature. And when the sun is traveling further away from you and there's water, that sun ray will come all the way up to your feet on the beach because there's no curvature. Well, how, what, what about gravity, right? Like, what brings us back? What force is acting to bring us back down? The, like, when, when I jump, what force is bringing me back down? Your weight and your mass. That's it? Like, well, what's pulling on my mass? Why couldn't it be just that simple? Because, well... Because with other things, we can check, like, the kinetic energy and the potential energy of certain items. So, so like... Sure. Yeah, so what is pulling my potential energy from up down? You're using the strength of your legs and the kinetic energy from your legs to jump. Mm -hmm. And then the weight of your mass, because you weigh more than the molecules around you, that's why you fall to the ground. I could see that. It's that simple. But people want to complicate things and add math to it, numbers, and, you know, feel like they have some to, like, complicate things. You know, when it can just be really that simple. Yeah. You know, because you know, why do we have to worry about that stuff? Because if we worry about that stuff, then we can, you know, then focus on how to help people become better, yeah. help people less fortunate, you know, and really help people, you know, grow. Because it takes a village to raise a child, and it should, but nowadays that's not so much. Yeah. What about? How come some air, some parts of the planet are hotter than others? Like the middle, like this kind of area is a lot hotter than obviously up in Russia. Like what's the reason for that? Because if the sun is right here and it's going around, wouldn't, because then wouldn't it, wouldn't it be then going over Eastern Europe and making Eastern Europe really hot? You know what I'm saying? Or like where would the sun be located on this chart? It's kind of, that's just what I, well, if it was in the in our hey, way, pretty well, thanks. We got a brochure here. Okay, so uh, yeah, during I'm our summer, <laughs> the sun would be making a closer circle. Do you guys think here we are? Well, what's mm -hmm. your, uh, so the sun would be here. here. Yeah, and so in the body winter, it would be making a larger circle, so it would be far away from. Okay. Is it a pretty good oh, idea so cool, that, like, uh, we have some flooding okay. that had happened over and the springtime, right? And the spring came happened. again, then it and would you would be see water coming circling down. closer again. The but then if it's down here, because like, this that area that is so obviously is pretty hot, right? Like, right down here. So water like, Southern so Africa is still pretty hot. If the sun is right above Southern Africa, let's say, right? It's still hot in Northern Africa, right? So, like, this area is still hot, this is still hot. So then if the sun is here, wouldn't it make sense that this would also still be hot? And then the ice. Yes, you can go with that one. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair would enough, be right? Melted. So if it's, if it's over yeah. seventy percent water, how does water how go this doesn't melt? If, if this is if this is all hot during that time, would not this also be hot? Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to. Okay. I just, like I like these kind of questions. Yeah, like, I know. Kind of, and I, I see the water no. just like still. It's a hard one. The only reason why it's moving right now is because the man's are at a ball or something. Yeah, yeah. Like Here, let me call my buddies and see where they are. Because I think they'd like Yeah, it. so, like these things right here. Ah! That goes the universe. <laughs> So this guy? No, these are images of Earth from space. Hey, where are you guys? Yeah, but like, it looks too deep, um, right? I kept right, going down does. the path yeah, a bit, and I found a table things. with that's some flat earthers I'm talking about. The only way that you would know that that's a sphere is by being so able to go around here. it. Yes. Or you hold it in your hand. Right? So, but these are images no, from NASA, like, and who really they show us two different sizes of America, and they also admit that these are composites. Oh, these are um, so these are not real actual photographs like you could take with your phone. You can take these are composites, so they're scanning a flat level plane, and then so they stitch them into Photoshop, videos. and then they do and like they add some copy of clouds, and then yeah. they turn it into this. It's, um, mm -hmm. two, it's called two <laughs> proofs <laughs> that the Earth is not a sphere. I'm also going to say they admit it. Uh, and then another one, the first one that I ever saw was flat Earth. Well, we only see one side of it. By Mark Sargent. 
Mm-hmm. I've, seen, I've, I've heard, I've watched the documentary on Netflix. But we only see one side of it, right? How they have, they have okay, a behind the, I, okay, so it's called behind the curve or something. Or behind the, yeah. Yeah. So so it's I'm on Netflix, it's a whole, it shows both fly, sides. Like, it has a scientist talking about flat earth and, and then it has like Mark Sargent talking well, about it. And like, yeah, so do you travel? Okay, so a couple of stories show it's trying to, you know, give both an open platform. I watched like the first Okay, so if we're in California, we have our compass pointing north. It's always going to do this for us. Yeah, I need to see And it's going to point north and we're just actually just traveling around our neighborhood. and... But walking you know, along the way well, doesn't guess, make the lake a wall, you know, does it? Some people just you know, it's overarching fooling around, you know, they saw it on something. my water. feet and on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Water always seeks its level, and, and it's always flat on the top. So when did What's you become, like, 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 when did you fully... Well, because how does water conform to the exterior of a shape? that was, like, when you decided, like, yeah. And then when did you start doing, like, this, like, sitting around the lake and going to, like, Convention and talking last people. summer. I didn't go. I don't understand what you're saying. Like a motive, but, you know. Last yeah. summer, yeah. Like, why are we? Yeah. Why are you lying to people? No, 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 I and I say it's level and flats, and you're saying, why would you know, they lie? I right? haven't, no, I haven't unraveled this. I haven't even unraveled it in the model. Whether we disagree model. on that, or yeah. a point. The interesting thing about the ball earth saying. is that I don't know, I'm not during this time, I have, when the, I have the motive of the coming out here and sharing the alternative viewpoint mm-hmm. so that I can provoke it thought is the, for you to look into and investigate this on your own time. Colder time of the year. Why do all the, why do, why does anybody here not go around and tell children Santa Claus? If you look at the, if you look at the, that's true. When you like look at the sky, isn't that true though? Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, but <laughs> okay, so so okay, just hold on. It's I'm just understanding. I'm just just trying to get brain work on that. Parents and people of, the, of the age the know that Santa Claus is not real, and right? But we all have a conspiracy over children. Kind of looks like it's kind of slapped together. Just it's not ever said, right? We don't ever say, "Hey, you don't, don't tell my children that Santa Claus is real," right? It's just something we all just don't know because then our heart will feel guilty like someone for their child, right? Okay. But it would be true to tell just them that it's not a real person. Look like it would and then it would start yeah. a progressive fallout where we stop lying to people about things. We can still go see well, so, but these that's your king and machines, I'm getting at, you know? Mm-hmm. And you can, when I you get up close to them, like in Houston, but you know, like you can go see these types of machines. They look much more complicated and they can show the physics of these buildings. In Houston, they can show which part of the Look well, at the parts of the machine, but there's a lot of water here, right? And it no, should theoretically, from the parts put together, know, but shouldn't there's it a lot of work the way here, right? that they want it to work? Like, so what if there's more land, land here that, that looks like it wouldn't even... What? What? And what? To me, it looks like it wouldn't even roll down Could that be a motive? It just looks like... Could that be a motive, though? It looks like a trash I got five motives of why they would hide flat earth and globe earth. And then you look at the suit. I just don't know. You know, if you had a... What's that? Is that and then you have someone with their, I want you to think about the Because if we're all investigators, yeah, you know, used to be and we show up pressure. on a murder scene, God forbid, the and there's two dead bodies, explode. there's a candlestick, yeah. you know, and so there's a knife, and then there's have, a gun. You know, right? Like a thick so we show up, do we just of, say, uh, hey, what's the motive? Why would anybody kill these people? They have a really nice house. They're dressed really nice. What would be the motive? Or would we then first gather evidence? And then we could probably degree, properly formulate a, a motive from that, right? Hot on the moon. So, yeah. if the Earth is and flat, you know, where is the air conditioning unit and the heating and well, like this. and the protection so, from the vacuum? Oh, so like what? This sense. is flat. Yeah. So the center is just the North Pole. It'd be really yeah. impossible. <laughs> you know, how did the moon landing? Is this Eminem made a movie? Yeah, it's um. This is pretty good. Human beings have only drilled eight miles into the ground. What do you think about the so, yeah. What about it? Just, so, it's, just, a, it's a lot of water. How thick is it? I don't know how thick it is. But if I if I personally can only tam- tangibly <laughs> dig three or four feet, because that's how far I dug personally, I'll say it's three or four feet. But I can go on Google and say, hey, Google, how deep have humans dug? And it tells me the Kona borehole in Russia is just under around eight miles. I have a question. So how about people who are taking like a higher Yeah, so you would have a compass, right? What do compasses uh, always do? Yeah, because they're part of the convection cycle. So it's they point north, right? Through the planet, okay. right? And, and you always hold the compass parallel to the ground, right? Okay, so if we started here, or else in California, does the cloud or the magnet come from? 
What if space isn't real, we're all just on a plane, and what if above the ice? Something we could say is a satellite. Like, what if that's where is it? Oh, the ice? Like, yeah, it's on the ground, probably made by left feet, right? Like, the Arctic. And then when you Google image satellites or space, you get computer generated images made by Yeah, there was a guy named Captain. Every single one of these is generated. There are no satellites in outer space. Like, what about the Oh, are you saying he only went to this, like, that? Take where I live. You know, like when you use GPS, right? right? Take it from O'Hare, and, and then you have that red line special? that shows yeah. like there's traffic. Okay, it's not What's happening is your cell phone is connected yeah. to other yeah. cell phones yeah. around you. And I always see flights going around this way rather than going across the north. So, like, what yeah. purpose would that have rather than going like? I feel like if that configuration of the airplane, you can see the horizon. Well, there are a lot of things. Uh, you 
has to trust the authority. A lot of times they say you don't have your own personal opportunity. And you have an agency like NASA that gets 19 and a half billion dollars this year. And so, I mean, it benefits them to manage their own money. Yeah, 35 billion dollars. Yeah, like where do you get your morals from? Earth is round and the face is out in space. But it's a good thing. But it's a good thing. I mean, if they were, if they were, because we realize not only because you got punished for stealing or lying, it's punished because in your heart you get convicted. But the point of science is they can form other people. But that's the law in our heart. I don't think their point is to be like, secret. Yeah, like be secretive and like lie to everyone. I have a question. Good and bad and kind of proud of everything. But if you really see and observe how water works in our reality, how even when you hold a bottle and you turn it to its side, it will always level. And you will never experience bendy water. I have another question. So, you know, let's say you're like on the coast and then you're looking at the Yeah, like gravity, right? See the boat. And you know how if you like, if you look at the horizon, you see the boat slowly appear from like top to bottom? Yeah, so, but he just picked it up. So he's the force that picked it up. Like I saw so something about like an eighth of a mile right? drop or something but I'm like how the boat would slowly so appear. Show me gravity work now. Of it. If, if I let it go, I it's not going to float in and of itself, superior. is it? Right. And, and, and what I see is that it's sort of, the you force. know, the, the boat disappears yeah. into the line of conversion. No, what if there's a pressure? Like, what do you think about the sky? So what if there's a pressing of down instead of a pulling? Like the clouds wouldn't move if the earth was flat. Why wouldn't it move? Because, uh, what about the, the last, like, show me the, the orbit. last, like it literally touched like the ground, ground if they did. Like, that's but you like, can't, but you've like, been doing fantasy land and you're doing things that, what, what, you think like, that become, yeah. because that's it becomes complicated, that makes it right. That, this is but we experience the earth not moving right now, right? Wait, what's your, what's your like ultimate goal? Okay, so you experience the sun moving? Do you not, do you not experience the sun moving? You don't see the sun move down that way? No. Okay, yeah, so, uh, right, right. So, where in, where in your lifetime were you told that the earth is spinning and the sun is stationary? Where did that come from? Where did that thought come from? You mean that it orbits around the sun? Yeah, where did it come from? Okay. How do you know people aren't lying to you? Uh, church. Oh, it church. So, I don't know. No, it's church. So, what does it just call it school? So, what is it going to have to church not? Government. Out, like, yeah. No, you have. Like, no, just because they, you call it science doesn't have, mean it's the next step. That. Like, science that's now has become a religion. I think something that would really interest me is if. So, science now has become a religion. Because you have never gone to outer space to see the earth from this perspective. And if you believe that you live here, you're a religion. Right, but here's the thing, it's like, He's when you say something, he, he just because you can't go out and then he found another land the size of the United States, right. and he hadn't been explored. Yeah, yeah. Are there pictures of this? No, no. That's, that's how science uh, works, no, you have to I verify don't, things, don't, right? So okay, so how do you well, verify there, so this? I don't know if there is land that's undiscovered land. How do you verify it? There has to be, but that doesn't mean that the earth is flat. I'm saying, right. well, see, see, again, like you're calling the physicists a freak now. Like there's a priesthood. <laughs> no, I'm not making a joke. In your mind, you have compartmentalized church, which is a, in your mind, faith and a god. But then you, you don't, you separate that from science, which government has become your god. I don't think that's what he's saying at all. You're saying that. You're saying that. So that, like, for example, if you had the earth and the moon and they would crash and you you had the sun and the earth and it would crash and you Well, do you think that meteorites and, like, asteroids are flat then? But what I think is that if there are meteors and meteors So how do we, how do we measure the movement of the spin of the earth? Why does the moon crash and the earth? Because of the gravity. Well, the gravitational pull would pull it into the earth and then it would crash the earth. It is. It's getting closer. But isn't that only if you were... But isn't that only if they were solid? Because if both were moving... Because it's because it's been so many years Why and like it's so far away. Like, you learn because that, because that eventually no, will no, no, because the matter. science of it would be if you I melt a magnet, it yeah. loses its magnetic well, property. It would seem to be that it would crash. Well, no, because right. there's the math behind is because the moon is no, moving. No, that's what people believe, that there's a moon core that's spinning. It gets closer. 
the spores, but how come butterflies are being found? Because when you're in space, when you start moving in space, you know, like Newton's law, like an object. It's density and buoyancy. It's density. In your mind, because you were taught that in school. So now, school, uh, that's no different than a child going to seminary school. And then growing up in their church and ideology, and then reading that, and then saying that this book is only the asteroid because I was taught this, and anything separate from that is not. Yes, I can. I just did. And I'll do it all day. No, it's, it's, it's a very safe place to be because if I can't observe something, and you say magic pulls something down, show me the string. Where's the string? know that water lies flat and level. Where's the string? That's tangible because you can experience that lake and it's flat on the surface. Yeah, you can. Through action. Yeah, but it dips down. Well, it's underneath. Yeah. But see, if, if you put water on a ball, it wouldn't stick to it. You may not know. Water doesn't That's not a very good ball. example. Well, if you're talking about gravity, you're talking about Yeah, you can't observe the Earth spinning from outer space at 23.4 degrees if you believe it. isn't like a ball, like a rock or a ball or an asteroid or something. Yes, you can, through action. You know, you're saying through a five-second observation of two people walking, you're supposed to observe whether they love each other or not? That's not a very good argument. All you can do is yeah, we learned Where? That. Where's the why, That's why it won't curve. Otherwise, you're confined. Do you take, like, biology you keep, classes? Yeah, why not? Why, why isn't that a good place to be? Because there's so much else. Um, what is... Thanks. What was your and so what if the uh, 50% that you can't see is the earth not spinning, it's immovable, and the sun, the moon, and the luminaries move above you? Oh, okay. I don't know, I've never seen a volcano, so I don't know. Okay, what's your name? Tarek. Wait, so free. I'm guessing Tarek, yeah. Tarek, okay, please meet me. I'm Louis. Please meet me too. Nice to talk to you. I mean, what you say to other people? I mean, I'm sure the same opinion, but... Well, well, you guys have all the right to show yours. Well, that's what it's like. I mean, yeah, we can agree to disagree. Everyone has their opinion. Yeah, it's good to hear. But they're considered now planets because there's some ideas I think it's that we really can like land on the object. No, I just, no, I honestly, I see where you guys are coming from. I've never talked to someone who, like, yeah. the Earth was flat before. I was and just like, because NASA claims to put an RC car on Mars, that doesn't make it real. I actually, I like, I think you're, like, Matt Carson is kind of creative, too. Oh, but yeah. then that's you're right. a religion. <laughs> that's right. Wait, wait. That's wait, science. It's a leveler. If you really so, like, want to understand flat, what science funny. is, yeah. I should be able to No, I just honestly think it's the point of credibility. It, like, I see what you're saying. Himself. Like, if he's saying he can't land on the moon, then that means like, he's he in a religion. Like, he hasn't actually religion. seen it for himself. He doesn't have to read his place. He doesn't have to read his place. He doesn't have to read his place. No, but I will say... We're not talking about that. We're talking about... No, I just think the argument's are a little stretched where it becomes that they where you have to find you everything to for yourself, where you, it makes so other people, like, that. other people's information unreliable to a sense, so, like, but the, you know, like, well, it's a like example. what's his name? Joshua. 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 Okay. So, I think, I just, like, he doesn't believe it until he actually sees it, where, like, science is kind of based off those methods that people develop. I see the sun moving. Oh, that's reliable. I see the sun moving. And, and, the, and, and the earth is not spinning. It or whatever. So, that's what I'm trying to say. Do do I don't know what kind of surgery logic you're trying to do here, but I understand the type of spirit that you have, that you have, that you have, that you have on your, around these young uh, people, and it's not going to work on me. It might work with these people because they're ignorant to this idea. Well, we actually okay? learned about this in but biology. You know what? It's not going to work. I uh, observe the sun moving, regardless of whether it's cold or hot. Do you know that you do this? Whether it's cold or hot, that doesn't matter. It's the one moving and not the earth. Okay. All right, guys. Ready? Yeah. Yes, I All guess right. I'm kind of the favorite. Yeah. Bye. Bye. That makes sense. Thank you for staying calm. It's just a credit. <laughs> no problem. Wait, you speak Spanish? No, it's... Word salad. To, I'm really bad at Spanish. Just because he wants to believe something, that doesn't mean I'm obligated to believe it. That's not true. So the Earth is not spinning, and no mechanical device has ever been created to prove that. So I like I I see where you're coming from. Where like you have to see it to believe it. But like, what makes other people's information that they maybe figure out? Alcumida divina. 
Have you figured it out? Yeah. No socials. Okay. So until you do it personally, no tangible Black experiments or observations, um, you're in a safe space. Okay. Okay. Ask me, Primero, Vass, um, and be comida so comfortable comida because comida I will not comida bow down to these ideas. Comida. Wait, can I teach you Chinese? Um, and I'm going to do, and I'm not going to, I'm going to call him out in front of young people because he thinks that because the sun is there and the earth is spinning, and that means that the that's what causes the sea. Whoa, that's so cool. We'll put you down. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm going to Oh my god, that's so cool. I had to take it home. Bye. Okay, bye. Nice to meet you. Authentic and tip. It's on the bottom of that brochure there, bud. That's not going to happen here. You're not going to do that here, dude. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Except you have to agree that the earth is flat. Yeah. I agree that the earth is flat. Yeah. Do you actually? You want to take some information? A little trade? Oh, okay. So you want to trade? You know, water for information, right? There's my information. Isn't that, isn't that a fair trade? Info for water? Agree yeah. the earth Take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't give your authority away. <laughs>